Okay, Kelly, how can I help you today? Well, um, I'm married and in the process of going through a divorce, and after the filing, my husband got very concerned about his health. He had swollen lymph nodes, so, and it seems he doesn't want to share that with me, so I'm more than curious to know what the situation is and maybe if there's something I can do to make it easier for him or maybe I should stay out of it. I'm not sure. I, that's why I'm asking you to help me. Okay. What is your husband's name? His name is Eric. Well, this is definitely a relationship that what I see in this relationship is it possibly shouldn't be breaking up in, in, from what I'm seeing. I think there's a lack of communication, a lack of a breakdown of communication and standards that you hold very high and he's tried to meet them, but not good enough for you. Mm -hmm. Would you say that's fairly accurate? Yes, I've been dissatisfied for years. Okay. This is a gentleman who is still very much loves you and in a small way is still in love with you, even though there's been a length of separation between the two of you, is that correct? Well, not, I mean, separation of emotion we live in the same house, but we spend little time, you know. I've, Together, Yeah, sure. we still live in the same place, but it's definitely, it's you know, sure. not spending the time since October. Can you tell me a little bit more about the possible illness he had, you're tell, you, you, you think you know about? Well, I'm, since I know he, um, they did a biopsy and he's been referred to an oncologist, I know that cancer is a suspicion. And so when I ask him, what's going on, it seems he's vague and, I mean, I know he can't be that concerned about me falling apart because I'm the strong one <laughs> between the two of us. He's more likely to cry than me or to, to well, withdraw. It's, it's obvious to me in the relationship, when I look at the relationship, that you're the strong one. He's strong, but he stands behind you because, no, no offense, but no one can really get in front of you. He tries. <laughs> Sometimes. But as I said. Yeah, right. But exactly right. Yes, that's I'm, not I'm, possible. I'm an indomitable force, or whatever you want to call yes, it. Yes, that's it's not possible. Right. And that's so right. he's gotten to the point in this relationship where he kind of throws his hands in the air. I, I would I would tell you that when I look at Eric's energy and I look at your energy and we 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 look at his illness, his possible illness. He he, Eric doesn't want you to stay with him, if he's ill. Okay. He, he's, he, there's a male pride there, and you've decided and made your own mind up, as you always do, mm -hmm. okay? And he feels, he, I, I feel, he feels that he can deal with it, whatever it is on his own because he doesn't want sympathy and empathy from somebody who already doesn't want to be with him because you've made that clear that you yeah. don't want to be with him. That's true. Okay, so because of that, his male pride, as, as we all have pride, he's, he's a very prideful person, okay? And he has a strength. Are you guys both the same sign also? Yep. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And you're both, both. Le Leos? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you're both Leos. And, you know, one, it, it, you know, when you have two Leos together, number one, it's a very good, excuse me, it's a very good match. Number two, one Leo has to realize that one leads and one follows. Okay? And that's hard for Leo Leo. It's we very difficult. We, we haven't been able to get to that point. Well, you're going to lead, period. That's yeah. obvious. Yeah. You know, so he has to either step back and understand that, which mm -hmm. I feel at this point he has, okay. sickness or no sickness. Sure. He has understood that. But you have such high expectations in your relationship that, you, and no offense, but if it's this one or the next one or the next one or the next one. Mm -hmm. My childhood was not great. It was, you know, it, as far as feeling secure or, or having that peace of mind, I had a lot of nightmares, night terrors, and... I was an angry little child. I didn't get enough attention. I didn't get enough love or support. My brothers were everything to my family. And so I became an actress. So I, somebody says I'm doing so something could, right. So basically what I'm hearing is you became an actress to be seen. To be seen and heard and, and mm -hmm. appreciated. If someone said, wow, you really made me laugh, I feel so good inside. And, and my parents don't believe in saying it directly. It's how much they love you or how you did this right or that right. They think that's coddling. My mm -hmm. mom said she stopped hugging me when I could talk and kissing me, making a fuss over me as a child. Well, that's something you should really look at and look at, look within yourself because number yeah. one, you can't fix men. No. You can't change men. No. Nope. Okay. But you also have, have a tendency to carry with you a lack of respect for men. 
because you're such a power horse. And I mean that as a factual way, not a negative way. And I think you're right. Okay. I mean, I know you're right. Okay. So, <laughs> it's really, so, really there. Yeah. I'm feeling. Are you okay? You're not scared or you're No, you're I'm, okay? I'm okay. not <laughs> happy. I'm not happy that I'm there because I probably wouldn't want a nice man and... I probably couldn't see the goodness in the guy for what they're lacking because I expect them to fail. And they have generally in some way or another failed. Well, it's because you can't, they can't leave, they really can't live up to your expectations no. and your standards. Even if they did, you'd find mm-hmm. something else. All I'm saying here is this relationship isn't necessarily broken, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed about it. Okay? But it's not broken. I can see that it's not broken. It's actually a good thing. Hmm. It is a good thing. But we just need to, we need to basically start digging holes one in another and then fill them in with the healthy sand. Right. Okay, that's how we do it. And metaphorically, it's a matter of teaching the two apes in the cage how not to fight with each other and kill each other because they really love each other. That's really what's going on here. Thank you. You're welcome.